Years later, it's a series where I take a look back on past pop culture and cinema and see if films that are 10 or more years older still hold up. Today's episode will be on Monster House. It was released on July 21st, 2006. So, does it hold up? What year is it? Whoa, what? <gasps> Thursday. What year? No. What? Year is it? Watch this movie a lot as a kid and watch it during especially Halloween because it is a Halloween centric movie and I remember loving this movie. So going back now, I was a bit worried. I was like, oh no, am I not gonna love this movie anymore? No Turns out I still love this movie. This is one of the movies that brings me back fond memories when I was younger, when I had no responsibilities. It's very simple, you know, it's definitely like a kid's movie. I was only six years old when this film came out. I was at the right age to watch it. So I remember being like, hey, this is awesome. And I still think it's awesome because I grew up with it. Nostalgia was hitting me pretty hard watching this movie. The main three characters I remember. I remember specifically how I felt about them when I was younger. I remember liking Chowder a lot. I remember liking DJ a lot. And then Jenny, I like as well, mainly because she was a girl. Again, six or so, I was like, girl, you know. And then I also like the one mastermind guy, the arcade guy, that's like, destroy the heart. I remember liking him. The babysitter, she's cool as well. The parents arguing, bickering. I remember liking that when I was little. I liked it even more 15 years later. A lot of things, just bringing back six or old me, liking it, rewatching it now, just just so great. Now, is it a great movie? I don't, probably not, but again, the star is hitting pretty hard. So the opening moments of this film of the little girl saying her bike stuck by this grass this amazing grabbing grass and then mr nubbercracker that's a ridiculous name just saying it out loud it's kind of ridiculous he gets out any kid who watches it will remember get off my lawn DJ, who am i get off my lawn it's just, I don't know, iconic, kind of like, takes your bike and rips it half. Now, this is a strong old ass man. Granted, this is just a little baby tricycle, but it's like, god damn, how strong are you, old man? Like, I don't think even now I'll be able to take a tricycle and rip it in half that easily. Or, or tricycles, like, just easily, just kind of getting ripped apart easily. But that seemed like, damn, strong old ass man. So DJ is the one character that's like the conspiracy theorist, where he should not tell every other character in this film that something's wrong with this house, this monster house. That Mr. Nebercracker likes taking things from kids, and then he's so mean, so there's wrong with the house he tells his parents about this more specifically his mom they don't believe it they're on like a i don't know honeymoon retreat or somewhere for like a day the whole day and then he even tells his babysitter his babysitter doesn't believe it the babysitter's boyfriend his kite was taken then he turns that into like a joke and so like babysitter doesn't believe him and so any other character besides chowder and jenny because they actually physically see it, experience the monster house nobody believes him and even the cops the really ridiculous dumb cops which i think one of them is played by kevin james i think i might be wrong on that i think it is it might be not they're like kind of harass them in a way but from their point of view it is ridiculous kids may be drinking or high on drugs that's a possibility especially on halloween night or before the halloween chowder who's just my favorite character and i think everyone's favorite character he's just the goofy one trying to act cool try hard kind of character he wants to be someone else that part isn't supposed to be doesn't quite take dj seriously with the whole monster house thing him like going across finding the boyfriend's like bottle and yelling get off my lawn and all that stuff was hilarious the holy shit moment where he actually believes him dings the bell was like oh god <laughs> good he believes him he's the one that's reluctant to do things because he doesn't want to die yet he's too young and his basketball play how that all just comes around three seconds on the clock mm -hmm. Um, get in the final shot only for the basketball with the smiley face get stuck on the board and then his big moment with the whole versus monster house and this uh construction site thing he was all chowder's awesome he's great and then jenny she's just a character that the boys just meet on the street she knocks on dj's house babysitter answers she's like a mascot or something giving her a free candy sign up thing she goes to the house her wagon gets swallowed and then she believes them and she does say in the film that she doesn't typically hang out with boys like them obviously try to hit on her at one point they try to you know size each other up all this forgiven and whatnot but she joins in the fight because she has only one hour and i guess i didn't realize the time frame of this movie everything is happening so quickly and so fast like i thought it was like spread throughout days but it turns out it's not it's like whenever they meet jenny and then that day starts it's like one day one whole day or like a couple hour time span it's like this is very short in terms of timeline aside from like the flashback of like nebercracker like everything is like contained which kind of shocked me i was like wait a minute all of this takes place within a very small amount of time and so because no one believes them the government the cops their parents the babysitter they all decide to go in there together with water guns now the monster house itself the design i like how it's designed the front mouths are like teeth sharp teeth the rug is the tongue the hole that's ripped is like throat and then the uvulia don't know how to say that but it's like the chandelier thing the windows are the eyes so the look and shape of it is shaped like a human face a human body like the trees are the arms i've always liked that design but the house itself the person within the house itself is constance never crooker's wife and so we get like a flashback to when he truly did love her she was like this fear this like like bear clown acting 
only not clown act, but she's like an act nobody likes ever looks. So they start throwing stuff at her. Except for Nevercracker. He's always loved her. He takes her away, builds his house. However, in the process of building his house, a bunch of kids are just throwing apples at her. And then there's one that gets thrown at her head really damn good. Even though Nevercracker is trying to console her, be like, they're just kids, leave it alone. She gets an axe, kills herself essentially, even though Nevercracker does feel responsible because he did have that axe. She falls in full of cement, and then that's the body or cement that they find within like the basement with all the other toys. I don't know how big his basement is, but that's a lot of goddamn toys. And so the house itself is Constance, and that's why he's always yelled, get off my lawn, because he doesn't want his kids buy his own house, finish it because he did it for Constance. You do kind of feel bad for him, in a way. He's been trying to warn people this whole damn time, you know? He's like, loves his wife who's dead, but is in his house. Kids that were the cause of her death, a resentment towards kids, and he's also trying to warn them at the same time. Through his like, struggle heart attack with DJ, and then comes back in like a hospital gown. Things has been like 45 years or 35 years. He needs to let go, like DJ tells him, he needs to let go of this house and Constance. And so he does, during this whole big chase. Which, by the way, I don't know how any of the neighbors didn't see this or heard this. I get it, budget-wise. It's definitely like, if you just think about it, what, what are the neighbors doing? Shouldn't they be just looking or being nosy or something? I don't know. Either way, it's big old chase of this monster house with tree arms. It would be creepy. Nowadays, it's not creepy. I still like the design of the house. Except for whenever it gets in its final spiky form. It looks like all spiky and whatnot. But it's chasing them. Nebercracker tries to convince Constance to move on as well. She doesn't want none of that. We get that child versus Constant fight. That was cool. The whole firework thing or firecracker thing. DJ throws it in the chimney. The heart of the house. Boom. And it explodes. Nebercracker gets one last dance with his wife. He has to let her go. And by the end, that little girl in her trust go, she gets it back. Nebercracker seems very nice to the whole neighborhood now. There's even one last moment where like, get off my lawn. But he's just kidding. That basketball bed comes back around. Jenny goes away. DJ gets a kiss from her, you know. They just say, you know what? Let's go for Halloween. They go get candy. They get the ash of the burning ash or whatever. Paints it on itself. Parents get back home. And then they go away getting candy. And then we get, I guess, post credit stuff of the babysitter's boyfriend with this kite. Do find a flame that he came back out from the underground basement of the house. This little ass kite was funny. The two post credit scenes during the credits are the two cops just talking, going to get some candy. And then the babysitter with the arcade guy, the mastermind guy. She's moved on from her ex-boyfriend. Obviously, he doesn't care, but he has his damn kite now. So he's just going to play with his kite. That's it for a monster house. Monster house 15 years later. Still holds up. Again, Thodger's playing a big part in this. It brings a lot of fond memories back when I was 6 years old. Watching it quite a bit. This is like the 6th time that I've seen it. At least I remember. 6th time, yeah. But it's just a fun Halloween movie even though it came out in like middle of summer, July. Still a fun movie. Watch it if you haven't seen it. It'll be fun if you have kids now. As an adult, probably not. But yeah, Monster House is just a fun, pretty good movie to me. So that's it for me. This has been The Road So Far. Right